binary trees and we're going to look at alphabetical sort. Data is held in a computer using binary and a binary tree is a great way of representing um, how data is structured but not, uh, not only structured how data is sorted and how we retrieve that data. So this is the basic structure of a binary tree. We have a root node and then a simple sub node and a leaf node or child node. Um, let's have a look. That's our root node. Every node must have two nodes. So the root node has two nodes. And there they are. And those subnodes of the root node also have two nodes. And these are the leaf nodes or children of that one. And we've got a left subtree and a right subtree. And that's the structure. If you understand that, you'll be able to understand how data is retrieved and in what order. And, of course, how data is added. So, why trees? Well, it's an arithmetic expression. And arithmetic expressions are held in a computer in the form of a binary tree. So, 4 plus 7 times 24 divided by 8 is too complex or ambiguous, is the correct word, for a machine as the order of operation is ambiguous, even if written like this. In brackets, it still is not helpful. We could get a high-level language to understand that, but the machine code can't understand that. So compilers use a binary tree to store data and to retrieve data. What operations will a computer do? Well, it's the same as what you might be asked to do in an exam. You might be asked to create a binary tree um, and then you will have to decide which items form the left of that binary uh, root node and which form the right of that root node and then you'll have to decide which items populate which and when the tree is empty there is uh, a systematic order to a binary tree I know we're dealing with um, alphabetical order in a moment but just to show you how it works with numbers first of all. After all, it doesn't matter if it's numbers or text, um, it's going to be stored in binary anyway, so it's ultimately going to be a numbering system. Let's imagine we are given <coughs> uh, an array of numbers and our root number is 25. We are simply ordering according to the Less value, go down the left branch. Higher value, go down the right branch. So, we're asking our question, does it come before or after our root node? So, we go down the array and it's 15. Does it come before 25? Yes, it does. Um, and then we look at 43. Does it come before or after 25? It comes after. Then we look at 30. Does it come before 43? So, it's a left uh, leaf node. Then we look at 46. Is it before or after our uh, node of 43? Yes, it's after, so that's why 46 is on the right-hand side. Higher value right, lesser value left. And then we, we hit 9, so we go all the way up to our root node and all the way down. Ah, we keep going to the left because it's less than 15. And now we look at 17. Well, it's certainly not higher than 25 and so we exhaust it we finish our node um, on the left hand side by going right and 17 is our final value on the left we go all the way to the top we realize that's the end of this binary tree and look what it retrieves if we go down to the left left node right we go left node right we get 9 15 17 and LNR is another uh, acronym that you must remember. Left node right is typical of the way data is stored, ordered, and retrieved. So now we're going to retrieve it. And as you can see, it's been retrieved in ascending order. So left node right. Go back up. We've used that. Ah, 25. Now let's go right. Right. And we're not going right uh, sorry, we are not keeping on. 
with going right, we've got to go a, a left as soon as possible. So from this node we go left, hence 30. Now we go right, 43, 46. So just to make that clearer, why we don't go 9, 15, 17, 25, 43, is because we've always got to keep to the left and then end up going right. Go to the left, end up going right. Go down to the left, end up going right. Okay? <coughs> alphabetical. Joe, Harry, Kevin, Sally, Lynn, Dave, Freddy. Get these into alphabetical order. Searching and sorting and adding new items in a dictionary, for example, would require that we store um, data in A to Z order. Okay, so remember a computer doesn't know what the alphabet is, what letters are, but it can um, learn to sort and store structure according to the binary tree. Um, so let's have a look. We're going to do something called in-order traversal. Now, in-order traversal is exactly what I've just mentioned. Left, node, right. Left, node, right. And we start with Joe. Joe is our root node, the N. And we go left. Is Harry before Joe? H is definitely before J. And then we go to K, Kevin. Well, H, I, J, K. So now we're going to go right. So left, definitely Harry's before Joe. Now Kevin is after, so that's right. What about Sally and Lynn? Well, Sally is definitely after um, K, right? And Lynn appears on the left-hand side. So let's just do this again. Node, left, right. Node, left, right. Okay. Go back up to the root node. What about Dave? Definitely before Harry. Uh, D before H. And Freddie? Well, Freddie's an interesting one because we've reached the end now. Freddie's on the right of Dave. And once again, we've exhausted our tree. What is it going to return? Well, this is what it's going to return. That's our node. Can we go left? No, we can't go left. Can we go right? Yes, we can. So let's have a look at what our result is. So starting with our node, which is the middle, it's Dave. Dave is our very last node. Can we go left of Dave? No, we can't. We can go right? Yes, we can. So it's Freddy. So this retrieves Dave, Freddy, Harry. Because we've always got to go back up the tree. So Dave, Freddy, remember we can't go left here, Harry, Joe, Kevin, Lynn, back to Kevin, down on the right. So left, node, right, back to the node, another node, up to the other node, down the right, and then left, Lynn, back to the node, right, Sally. There's our order, and it's an alphabetical order. The in-order algorithm is written, traverse the left subtree, note the root node every time, so perfectly, we've noted all the way down, and we started with Dave, traverse the right subtree, and there we go, Kevin, Lynn, Sally, with our LNR order.